What's up, guys? Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. Your Miami Heat victorious tonight over the Washington Wizards in a fourth quarter. I mean, it just would not end. I was just hoping. I'm like, please, please, please come to an end. And it was a crawl, baby. It was a crawl to get all the way to the end, but we finally got there. And the Heat win 110 to 102 to run their record to 26 and 23. Overall, like, you just came off a seven game losing streak. I will take the Miami Heat getting victories however they want. That was, for the most part, a, a it was a really disappointing, I'd say, performance from pretty much everybody other than like Jimmy Butler and Kevin Love. Um, they had a tremendous third quarter that basically won them the game. And in fact, it was, you know, it was a Celtics class. You know, this was a, a you know, would have been a with a series a couple of years back. It was the Eastern Conference Finals. Like, oh, the Celtics have only lost three quarters, but they're it's a three, three series. That was basically this game. The Miami Heat dominated a third quarter and in a fourth quarter they had in hand. I don't know. Just, you know went about there gallivanting just you know letting kispert do kispert things and it was it was a brutal watch it was a it was a really brutal watch and the funny thing was like jimmy butler we've been seeing it with jimmy butler right where like jimmy butler has definitely ramped it up he looked awesome in this game he really was to to be honest with you the only guy who is making this a game for the Miami Heat because the 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 way they were playing in this first half was just absolutely pitiful. The balls kicking all over the place. The defense was piss poor. Jimmy was like the only guy who was making a thing. Got up to a strong start. Ten first quarter points. Um, you know, was really just bulldogging his way off of like missed threes, getting offensive rebounds and putbacks. Kispert hit this ridiculous three at the end of the first half off the window and Jimmy hits a three ball to end it. And you're just like, man, J Jimmy Butler just came here. He's not losing to the wizards tonight. That's just not happening on Jimmy Butler's watch. And I don't know, even like, first of all, like I get it, you know, a lot of people get mad at stuff like this. I get it. In these NBA games, you you're not going to bring the same intensity to every game. It's just not possible. I don't even know what these wizards are. They show up tonight. They're wearing these jerseys, which I, I don't even know who to blame. I don't know if I have to blame Nike or if I have to blame the wizards. I, I, I you know, because I've heard that a lot of teams don't have, con they're not like the heat, the heat get control over designing their uniforms. Nike just maybe threw this in their lap, but uh, what, like what, what are those jerseys? They're like, they're black with like maroon mixed into like are they the dragons that's what the their colors are like a tealish green mixed with maroonish orange but like none of them are really settled on a color it kind of looks like the uh the teal detroit pistons 90s throwbacks made love to like the san antonio spurs fiesta uniforms and like they kind of just this is their this is their love child and this is what was just left on the cutting room. Hey, you know, it's the Wizards. Like, Nike was just like, all right, uh, Johnson, what do you got for us? It's like, uh, what do you think about this? Just mix of colors. But we'll call it the district, and it'll have medieval times numerals. Love it. Let's throw it out there. Let's just, uh, we'll, we'll guinea pig it with the Wizards. Who cares? Which is basically just how the Wizards play basketball. Like, today, you watched a game where Jordan Poole, it, it, you know, this guy is a champion, a hundred million dollar deal was on, you know, this, this playing with, you know, one of the, the, the goats of this generation and Steph Curry. And now he's just, you know, kicking around in DC going two for 14 from downtown. Same thing goes for Kyle Kuzma who, you know, everybody likes Kyle Kuzma as a player, but here's the thing that you want to know. It's interesting about the wizards. Like these guys are talented guys. They've contributed to championships, right? But their 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 give a shit level is so low because like you think about a guy like Terry Rozier goes to the Hornets and he's talking about like you know the DNA is contagious but like at least Terry Rozier looter a riot you know whatever you want to say is like getting numbers and doing it efficiently these guys just genuinely look like they do 
not give one f- about playing any kind of meaningful basketball. They have completely packed it in, which is what kind of makes this uh, performance all that less uh, inspiring for Miami. There was some good stuff today. A lot of it was in that third quarter where Miami really flipped this on its head. After they came out of the break, you know, Jimmy Butler just continued to be an absolute menace. He was, you know, getting his teammates involved. He was willing himself. And honestly, the best run of the quarter came. Bam and Tyler both sat. You bring uh, Kevin Love and Jay Rich in there. And Kevin Love, I mean, just... What a, what a monster he was. He was just taking that. He, he was just completely like all these dummies on the Wizards, completely uh, vetting their ass and just being like taking it down low, getting buckets, getting to the line, going to throw in some three balls here just for good measure. And Jordan Poole at one point just had a double dribble. It's like, what, what, what? So it was rough, man. Miami finally got like their, their legs under him and Jimmy – completely took over that third quarter but I think there was a part of him that was probably like all right the heat they go into the fourth Tyler Hero hits this you know who who did not have a great night he hits this beautiful contested three ball over two wizards you're just like damn nice shot Tyler puts the Miami Heat up 13 cool let's let's just keep this puppy moving and you know Wizards are just kind of hanging around, you know, but the, but the, he had to get up to like 16. He had a nice play by Jaime. He takes it to the paint. And then Tyler fouls Jordan Poole. Bam gets teed up for yelling at the refs, which is hilarious. Bam never gets, he never gets teed up and he didn't even get teed up for his own foul call. Um, and <clears throat> you know, in this scenario where like the, the Wizards just, just, it just, it was one of these fourth quarters. I haven't even looked. I can get up the fourth quarter box score right now, but it felt like the Wizards must have gone to the free throw line, I guess, a gazillion times because it just wouldn't end. Yeah, like between them both, they went five times. The Heat went, or the Heat, uh, they went seven times. The Heat went 11 times. So nearly 20 trips to the free throw line between both teams in the fourth quarter in a game that was like neither, you know, the Wizards didn't really feel like they wanted to win except for Kispert Kispert was out there and he was uh he was trying to uh, he was trying to make things happen he was uh he was on one today with his runners and he was hitting crazy threes he was banking in threes Kispert came to play today for the Washington Wizards but here was the thing that was kind of frustrating about it you know and I and, and I and I hate to criticize because the only reason that he won this game today was because of Jimmy Butler but, like, Jimmy Butler so disgruntledly came into that fourth quarter and was just like, I'm here. I, you know, because it, it was on that tipping line of he got up 16, could have been up to 20, and Jimmy could have had the fourth quarter off. And instead, it gets down to, like, 10, 11, single digits, and they have to bring Jimmy Butler back in. And Jimmy tonight in the fourth quarter was just like, you know, non-existent. He's just like, he's like uh, zero points, zero rebounds, zero field goal attempts, 0 for 2 from the free throw line. Like, he's just like, uh, you guys real like, uh, you know, I, he basically was just like, I set you guys up for this and you failed me. I, I, I just wanted to go home and you guys couldn't do it. And that was the rough thing. So really it was Bam hitting a couple clutch buckets to, uh, towards the end to kind of just like, Keep the jab going on the on the on the Wizards to keep them away, to keep them at bay. And um, <laughs> I mean, there was this one where like Terry Rozier bricks a three ball, loose ball foul on the Wizards so that he got to go to the line. But then like Kisper then goes, he hits a runner, makes it a six point game. You're just like, God. It, it was like a slow, like the Heat were like a python trying to like take down some Everglades wildlife, like either an alligator. Or like a a, a a deer, just some big thing that I couldn't they had to unhinge their jaws, but like it was way too big of a piece to take down, and it was just a slow blah, to take the it was it was brutal. It was a brutal fourth quarter watch. Take the win. Mostly a great three quarters from Jimmy Butler. Kevin Love, double double in 15 minutes. He was friggin' amazing today. Um, Terry Rozier did some good stuff today. I mean, Terry Rozier, I, look, his shot is completely 
not arrived in Miami. He was two of 13 after a game where I think he was one of 10. His, uh, his time with the Heat, he has just not had his shot going. Um, but he has done a great job of, of doing a lot of other stuff. You know, 15 points today. Got to the line a bunch. Actually got to the line double digits tonight. Um, 11 free throws from Scary Terry. He had eight rebounds, five assists. So, like, he's doing other stuff. It's just the shot's not falling for him right now. And he was a plus 15 tonight. And the only guy who had a better number than that was Kevin Love. So, it's not like Kevin, it's not like Scary Terry's not having a, a positive impact. He really, really was. It's uh, it's just the shot's not there. You actually wonder, like, hey, when his shot gets going and you can rely on him a little bit. Uh, but it was it was a it was a brutal night from three tonight for both teams. You know, the Heat were seven of thirty one, the Wizards were eleven of forty two. Just some truly bad basketball. But took a win, got a win against a team wearing the ugliest unis I've seen this side of the XFL, and you'll take it. Um, and you'll move on to uh, to Sunday against the Clippers, man. You move on to Sunday against the Clippers, and uh, hopefully can keep things rolling after uh, gutting one out on the road.